President Putin has been speaking, confirming all the attackers have been found. They have been detained. They will be punished, he said. Sunday will be a national uh, day of mourning, um, making the allegation that the attackers were detained as they had tried to make their escape uh, towards Ukraine. Well, as uh, part of the story, we've been looking at and monitoring a huge number of uh, mobile phone pictures and videos from inside the concert hall. BBC Verifies Marilyn Thomas has been looking at what they tell us. Videos have been emerging on social media of the attack on a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow. At BBC Verify, we've been analysing the footage and piecing together the unfolding events. People have been filming the dramatic scenes from inside the Croker City Hall as gunmen burst in and started shooting. One video we verified begins as people start leaving the hall. Something appears to have gone very wrong. Suddenly they're screaming and people running as gunshots ring out. Someone can be heard shouting, close the door. Others drop to the floor and hide behind the chairs as gunshots continue. It's difficult at this point to know how many people are involved in this incident. But in this video, we can see a large number of people in the hall. In another video from inside the popular venue, one man says they've set the hall on fire. The hall is on fire. And you can see what appears to be the beginning of a fire. Another video filmed from the other side of the hall zooms in on gunmen shooting indiscriminately. Witnesses have said the shooting started inside the lobby. You can hear loud gunfire ringing out and see people crawling away on the floor. Another video filmed from the balcony overlooking the lobby shows the gunmen shooting as they move further into the building. We've also seen another video with four gunmen. In it, people are shooting and there are several people lying motionless on the floor. And we've identified videos of the building on fire, showing plumes of smoke rising into the air. This is clearly emerging as one of the most serious attacks in Moscow in years. And that was that Marilyn Thomas there just going through some of those images that we saw from inside the concert hall um, from the videos that were posted. Earlier I spoke to Sergei Markov, who is a political ally and former advisor to the Russian President Vladimir Putin. It's a very strange attack. It's very much uh, different from the uh, traditional uh, attack of radical Islamists. Usually Islamists uh, behave as uh, Shahids, they take in hostages and make some demands and uh, uh, demands also some negotiation. Here, it was absolutely another style. Uh, a few people just uh, call, uh, come there, kill uh, about uh, 100 people, and uh, are left. And now, uh, the four of them have been captured uh, on the border, uh, nearby the border of Ukraine, with Ukraine. It's, uh, in Russia, it's more or less clear that this terrorist attack has been organized not by radical Islamists, uh, but uh, uh, from Ukrainian territory. The question now, on the, what level the decision about terrorist attack has been made in Ukraine? Either it's uh, uh, a small uh, radical uh, neo-Nazi groups uh, on the ground level, either it's head of the uh, military intelligence of Ukraine, uh, Budanov, who is uh, mainly under the suspicious, suspicious. Mr. Markov. Uh, uh, Vladimir Zelensky himself uh, took part in the decision. If the Russian government was aware that there are terrorists operating in certain regions, why weren't they? Why weren't they monitoring them? How is it that this, secure, this attack uh, managed to yeah, slip yeah. through and essentially yeah, kill say... Russian citizens? Isn't it down to the Russian security system? Let me answer. Uh, U.S. Embassy uh, publicly told that there are possibility of attack uh, in uh, Moscow uh, around March 8. It's uh, Women's uh, Day in Russia, which uh, broadly uh, celebrated. And uh, uh, now information coming that this terrorist attack uh, had been planned on the March 9th, exactly in the same uh, concert hall where the, uh, the concert was uh, of a uh, shaman singer, who is now a famous patriotic-oriented singer, and also who is a public spokesman for Vladimir Putin during this election campaign. So, the, uh, first of all, a uh, terrorist attack had been planned for the March 9th. But after this information, Russian security uh, made uh, very, uh, a lot of measures Two uh, terrorist groups have been uh, arrested. 
uh, and uh, this uh, uh, terrorist attack, which had been planned on the March 9th, had been postponed. But after, it's, it's impossible to have uh, endlessly uh, strong, uh, uh, strong level of the uh, security measures. Okay. And uh, uh, after uh, so one, uh, one uh, week and 10 days over, uh, this terrorist attack uh, had been conducted.